Welcome in to the Bro for Squad podcast, where we are just a bunch of bros drinking beer and talking movies. I'm your host, the Mayor Jeff Hornacek. This is our movie commentary on She's All That. This is currently streaming on Paramount Plus. In the description of this commentary, you will have a link to where you can find wherever it's streaming by the time you listen to this. Our movies are paused at the eight second mark with Miramax fully up on the screen. So I go ahead and get your movie sunk up with us. Let's go around and meet my fellow bro. It's our enforcer in the paint, Matt Geiger. Matt, let's make a bet, all right? I bet that you can't take that eight out of 10 hot chick to prom and turn her into prom queen because her fucking overalls have some paint stains on them. I'll counter your bet with another bet that the eight out of 10 chick won't even say yes to go to fucking prom with me. Uh, got my painter pants on. Uh, don't have a hammer to put in the loop, but uh, I'll find something. But totally ready for this fucking movie. Yeah, I didn't know that that was what that loop was. <laughs> yeah, it's, for, it's for a hammer. Yeah, because I do so much carpentry work. That's why they call it painter pants. Makes yeah. total sense. Painters always They're actually hammers. coming back in style. We've, we've waited long enough to do this movie that. Thank God. Fashion has caught up to us. All right. Again, eight seconds, uh, at least on our version of this. If you have like a DVD or something else, it might be different. But Miramax is fully up on the screen. We're going to press play in three, two, one, play. Star study cast in this. Um, Freddie Prince Jr., Matthew Lillard, Paul Walker. God. Anna Paquin. <laughs> Gab- Damn. Gabrielle Union, Usher. I saw Usher, yeah, in the trailer. Little Kim. Karen Culkin. It's insane. And Eldon Henson, who oh, is... Oh, Karen Culkin's little brother. Eldon Henson, who, of course, is Foggy Nelson in Daredevil. Oh, yeah. And was, um, He's, like, way down here. One of the Bash brothers in... One of the uh, Arquette sisters or guys. I can't tell. If you made a movie in the late 90s and you didn't at least call Matthew Lillard and offer him a role, I think you were, in, like, going to be sued. He was... Uh, he was... He definitely... <laughs> Had one speed, which is he had, weird. He had a fastball, and that was about it. It's weird because like he's not that good looking, and he's really not that funny. I guess he's just kind of like a, he always looks like you're the best friend. He was just a wild dude. Well, yeah. he's best friends with Freddie Prince Jr. I think that's that helps. You know, help. And this is Rachel Lee Cook. I'm who, supposed to believe that she's not attractive because she has glasses on and got it. No pores on her face, clear face, just kind of an artsy chick. I mean, ugh. High school's weird, though, because sometimes I remember thinking, like, some chicks were hot, and they're like, oh, no, she's not popular, so she's not hot. I'm like, I don't know if you understand what popular and hot, like, sometimes they don't code. The stupid thing about that, though, and that's kind of the point of this movie, is, like, by just one person paying attention to her, she all of a sudden becomes popular. Yes. That's all it takes, really. Did you ever have a keep out sign on your door? That feels like a very... No. Karen Culkin. By this time, Macaulay was out, so the dad's like, "This, you're my last shot, yeah. Karen. <laughs> I, I, have a, I have one more paycheck, <laughs> yeah. child. You're it. You. But look at this. The I will say this. The like font for this is iconic 90s. What was that Drew Barrymore movie? She'd never been never kissed. Been I kissed. think they used this, too. God, her dad's, you know, taking her to school in the work truck. Like, get the fuck out of here. Wow, someone spray painted the L and now it says Dr. Pooh. <laughs> Her art honestly sucks, too. Wait, her dad is a, like a famous character actor, too. Yeah, he's, he's in a bunch of crap. Kevin Pollack. Yeah. Mr. Prez, I'm not really sure why. And this is the peak of high school movies. Student body president gets their own parking spot. Of course, yes! Well, does the quarterback get one, too? Uh, yeah, he's a couple <laughs> stalls down. It's not football season, though, so he doesn't really show up no. too much. Too, yeah, it's kind of a part-time gig for him now. I, lo- I love this, like... I guess because he's a student body president, he gets, like, his picture in the fucking... Is this... Supp- okay, honest question, because not another teen movie parodies this to the nth degree, and you almost think, like, dude, no movie actually did this legitimately. Do you think this movie is not playing this stuff for gags, or is it? No, it was totally serious back then. <laughs> That's insane. And now I don't think is as much played up. And I, I love these high school movies, because take a look at the side girls that don't have a role. Like, they're tens, yeah. like all of them. So Eldon Henson here, they bleached his hair. Hollywood was trying to figure out, is he the, like, tough guy enforcer like he was in Mighty Ducks? Or now is he, like, the nerdy, possibly gay best friend? We Wearing Jan Sport backpacks like Jesus Christ. Khakis, cargo pants. Fuck, what do you think's in those cargo pockets? Condoms? It's just, yeah. Phone numbers. Panties. <laughs> Little bottles for recital lube, too. Now, in, I'm going to make a lot of not another teen movie references, because... 
that is like one of the best parody films ever and it obviously copies off this a lot is in that Paul Walker's character is also the backup quarterback is he that here or was that were they like we're trying to get away no, from the varsity they're, blues they're, uh, they're on the soccer team in this one that's right the only reason they did the football and another team movie is so that they can um, tie in varsity blues with it was varsity blues this same year because Paul Walker would have been fucking on a roll let me look. Varsity Blues is ninety eight, I believe. This is ninety nine. So like right, yeah, right around it. There's Gabriel Union. Barely aged a day. Right now, if I could go back in time, right now, and just say cut and take Paul Walker and Freddie Prince Jr. and just be like, hey, um, I'm from the future, and one of you's dead, and the other w- one of you is creative writer for WWE. Holy Which shit! Which one do you want to be? Did you see that? No. Uh, Harvey Weinstein was, and, was okay. part of this. I did see that. <laughs> wonder who... Who she's dating. <laughs> no, wonder who made it up to his... That outfit Harvey. is clashing. This chick is hot as shit, though. Yeah. Because she doesn't have glasses and overalls, duh. But she's also, like, you know, put together pretty well. Let's say, like, Lady Boggs is pretty, you know, skinny. She's got a nice body, but not, like, curvilicious like this fucking chick. Who's this actor? Jody Lynn O'Keefe? Is that Taylor Vaughn? Yeah. She's Who does she look like? I don't know, but she she just dumped Freddie Prince Jr. because she met a college guy, I think, on spring break, on like MTV spring break or something. I mean, they had a lot in common. He's going to be Matthew Lillard, I'm pretty sure. She liked hot guys, he liked fucking people. This was the quintessential, like, Freddie Prince Jr., like, people thought, like, he was going to be, like, DiCaprio. Like, okay, do some of these teener bopper shit, and then, so he's a junior. What, what was was his dad an actor? Um, yeah, I think his dad was, like, a musician, actually. Okay. Freddie Prince. What the fuck is this? Spring Break. Oh, was this, like, the flashback yeah. scene? That was really artistically done. Yes. Did you see that? That guy's 46. Remember Spring Break on MTV? Bro. It was almost like I don't want to actually go on spring break. I just want to watch yeah, it. Yeah, just on watch MTV. it. It's fucking cool. Why as would hell. I go when I can watch it on TV? That was before. Now we have Instagram and everything, so people just show what they're doing. But yeah, MTV got fucked pretty hard by that. Where were these parties? I I mean I don't expect us to be invited to them, but I never even know where they're at. What on spring break? Yeah. Like to get into the MTV spring break, would you have to be like your dad worked at MTV? I guess. This is a... Uh, Guy with a back tattoo? What are you, Kevin Durant? This is pretty uh, artistic, too. Like, he's basically watching, like, her cheat on him in a flashback thing. You know what's weird is... Maybe Freddie Prince. I don't think Freddie Prince Jr. has much of an interest in acting. But Lillard still pops up from time to time. Like, he was in Five Nights at Freddy's, that movie that just I came out. I can't stand Anthony Lillard. Like, he was the one that, the first, you're like, okay, then after a while, I was like, okay, you just be the wild, crazy, goofy guy. Yeah. So apparently he's in the real world, like, the show, in this movie. Matthew Lillard's character is? Yeah. I don't think they know how to have sex. No, they're... They're supposed to be less clothes. <laughs> Me. Oh, so she got the tattoo on spring break. See, yeah. she changed, bro. Yeah. She changed. She's like, I'll still go with the prom. I'm just going to probably not. I'll just give you a over-the-pants hand job instead of having sex. Yeah, I know TPH is fine. It'll be a business arrangement. I'd take it. <laughs> I would, too. We all know how girls like this were, though. Like, the second you aren't interested in them anymore, they, they're like a fucking boomerang. They come right back. If you sit here and pine over her and... St- do the John Cusack outside of her window with a boombox? You'll never lay. <laughs> Fucking banger. Did you eat... Okay, every movie in the 90s, early aughts, they eat lunch outside? Because they're in Southern California. Okay. And, they're, and their lockers are outside, too, because everything is, takes place in Southern California. Okay, but that's no, just a life I couldn't In Midwest to. Missouri, no, we did not right. eat lunch outside. <laughs> it's in like North, windy as fuck in the spring. In Southern you know. Oklahoma, yeah, that was not really an option. Oh, wow, this is like 3D art. But what does it mean? <laughs> what doesn't it mean? You know? <laughs> so she just wears the smock around all the time because you never know when you'll need to impromptu start it's painting like, Yeah, it's kind of like the athlete just always wears their gym clothes because you just never know when you got to go. What does it say? If you're always ready, you don't have to get ready. 
here's the like Brittany Murphy didn't return our call, so we got this chick. Yeah, to play exactly. <laughs> Who is this? There's a lot of stereotypes already in this movie. Like, a lot of... Who does stereotypes. Anna Paquin play, then? Because she, she would be, like, Karen Culkin's age when this came out, right? Like, really young. You remember the movie Fly Away Home she did? She was, like, eight with Jeff Daniels. I'm trying to think if there's a little sister in this. She just has a little brother. That looks like um, non-GMO, grass-fed pink. <laughs> pink the singer. Yeah, because you know society doesn't want her hair to look yeah. like that. Intermittent fasted pink. <laughs> <laughs> Zevia Cola. Yeah. <laughs> Another thing too, this isn't such a big deal in movies, but like people with like coffee in school, like where, where did you get that? Like there was no coffee shop in my high school. Once well, again, so SoCal cool. maybe. I mean, these schools are pretty fucking nice here. Usher. Okay, so what was Usher's star status at this point? Like, what, would he have had a hit single yet? Or was he still yeah, he, like, you make me want to leave the one I'm with, start a new relationship with you. Like, that oh, just okay. came out. But, it, I mean, it's not, it was before, like, yeah, and all that stuff. But So he was just first started getting his gig of these R&B singers. Again, my school must have just fucking sucked because we didn't have like a school radio or some guy that just doesn't have to go to class. He just gets to make announcements throughout the day. Like, yeah, yeah, like what, give me that gig. What is Usher's point in this? Like, is he a student or <laughs> is he just like he's a school DJ? Like, but why do we need that? Like, could we cut that? Hey, what did you get in science? Oh, I don't go to science. I'd make the announcements. Yeah, that doesn't feel like a substitute for your science class. This guy is definitely a, a predator. It's it's extremely interesting on Hollywood how they just ran it for a while because so they're in the Scooby Doo franchise together they're in Summer Catch together they're like yeah uh he wouldn't scream no but it, that makes it seem like Freddie Prince Jr. had a lot of pull so he's like bro don't fuck me over be loyal to me he was the fucking it guy dude for a while I mean he was the shit he's he's bigger than Paul Walker right now so is Paul Walker's character his friend or is he like he's his friend but he's like a dick too yeah. like he's like jealous of him and stuff you know he's kind of like his friend but he would like for him to get out of the way so he could be the most popular guy in school this guy should have been the token black friend should have been the guy from Power Rangers I love that guy he didn't get any roles it's a shame <laughs> he's in Brink <laughs> oh yeah he's actually like the catalyst in Brink yeah, when, yeah. He gets, when he gets hurt it like sets off the whole plot so this is where he's saying, listen, she's nothing. Like, if I dated some other girl, she'd be prom queen. He's like, this chick, like, I could, you know, put some This makeup is where it's on. like, how much of it is the coach, how much of it is the players, right. you know? Get her a tit job. He needs this, though. It's good to have hobbies, you know, like gambling with people's lives. That shirt looks like the warmest fucking short sleeve shirt of all time. It looks like something that Michael Jackson wore when he was in the Jackson 5. It looks like something, uh, oh, what's his fucking face? Sam Rockwell's character would wear in the Charlie's It's like an $80 movies. shirt when you're asking the, you know, the gay guy selling to you. He's like, so does this zip? No, the zipper is just for show. It doesn't zip. It's a Why show, would you ever want to zip it's it? It's a decorative zipper. Yeah, what are you trying to hide? <laughs> Your chest? Kind of, yeah. So I would say, let's bet, pick a girl, make her prom queen. But he, but Paul Walker gets to pick her, right? So yes. his thinking is like he picked the most impossible challenge. Yeah. Not the really fat, ugly chick with B.O. No, not that. No, but Matt, she doesn't have fucking glasses it's on. Too easy. Fucking weirdos. Yeah, if you're just blowing bubbles at my school, get out. Not the chick who's 48. And yeah, doesn't know how to dress. No, not that chick. Rectal archaeology. <laughs> <laughs> That's a thing I never thought I would hear said. Is he smoking yeah, a cigarette? Yeah, he's smoking a cigarette. Oh, a cigarette. I think. Jesus Christ. Yep, like, classic. This is Selena Kyle from Batman Returns. Like, <laughs> How can she be hot, Matt? She just dropped her books. She just tripped over a stool. And of course, the nerdy girl always has 11 bags. In Wonder Woman 84, they try to do that with Kristen Wiig's character. I, like, she's nerdy because she drops things. Oh, yeah, she drops things, and God. she's, like, actually into school and tries hard to get into college. They're kind of parent. He goes, fat I can handle, but not glass. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> like, there's not even a cure for that. Yeah, yes. you can't even get contact lenses. fucking out. 98. Do you oh, know how long it takes lenses. to order contact lenses now by mail? We don't have the internet Longer yet. than it takes to lose 80 pounds by prom exactly. this next month. Exactly. It's an impossible task. 
Plus, I don't get the glasses thing. Is like I told you off pod. I think there are a lot of people that like prefer chicks with glasses. They're like, I think glasses are hot. Yeah. I oh, got this is a star-studded cast, really. Yeah. I didn't realize. Kier, I mean, now that they're older, it's like kind of a negligible age difference. But Kieran Culkin is like way younger than Freddie Prince Jr. In my head, now they're like the same age almost. Yeah, and Kieran Culkin. So Macaulay would probably be a little younger than <clears throat> Freddie here. I mean, he Freddie's probably. 20? I don't fucking know. So, all right, the real world, this must have been in 99, like one of the first seasons. This of it, is, right? yeah, this was when, like, once again, I never watched the real world. It was a little before my time. Like, once it yeah. happened, when I was, like, of age to really appreciate it. But I definitely knew TV, of it. Like, I knew it of it, yeah. But this was, like, a really genius kind of, like, promotional time yeah you just bring a bunch of drunk college guys put them all in the fucking room together and just see how they all fuck each other oh, oh here we go sister. Okay, okay his sister so she kind of like his moral compass throughout this like don't fucking do this. i guess yeah this is but, but you can't touch her or she'll kill you and then she's also going to um marry a quarterback that's gonna sack groceries and then tell him how to run plays yeah but he back in the day though he was a fucking catch <laughs> His haircut, dude. This was like what you had to have, right? Spike it up in the front. I couldn't grow sideburns. It was the like messy. That. It was the messy look, and yeah, the sideburns were really fucking it. It's like, am I put together or am I unkempt? I don't know. That's and it's pretty. really weird. Like clean shaving was the shit. Now it's like you gotta have a beard, or like a five o'clock shadow. Yeah. Really. I didn't notice the scar he has. That's. I'm sure there's a great story behind that that he's used to get laid. Are their parents like? Oh, she goes to private school? They're all fucking rich. I mean, they're in Southern California. All of them are rich. And did, she, did she go to private school or is she just one of those weirdos who, like, I wear ties? I think this is the dad that's like, I have a plan for you. This is basically what you have to do. Look, I would love to love you, son, but I'm too busy with my work. Uh-oh. He's like, you have to go to Dartmouth. That's where I went. You're a legacy, goddammit! <laughs> I don't want your <laughs> life! You gotta go to the... <laughs> Ooh. You can go anywhere you want as long as it's Dartmouth. Who is this dad? Is that, I don't know. Is that the guy from um, Animal House? Can't get a good look at him. God, the, this is like the the championship Pistons team. Like, there's not a star here, but there's a lot of good value. Everyone, if everyone plays their role. <laughs> everyone just this, plays yeah. their role in this If moment. everyone a averages 12 points a game, we're good. I remember high school movies and middle school movies, like, looking, I'm like, God, I want a room like that. Like this yeah. kid, like this Nothing made me realize how much my room fucking sucked than watching a movie. Here's all his colleges. Like, yeah, Yale wants me. I, I don't know. Yeah, but th they won't stop fucking calling. <laughs> Congratulations. Welcome to Dartmouth. So he's just hiding, like, his <laughs> acceptances. <laughs> like, damn it, I'm going to be making millions right out of college. Like this. Also, sucks. how dumb is your dad? He's beaten you to every one of these pieces of mail. You're pathetic. Well, he's, not, he's not at home too much. Oh, sorry for working, Matt. God, I'm trying to give you a better life. This already is such a 90s movie. It's just like, so what's the character's problem? He's got accepted to all the Ivy League schools. Oh, that sounds awful. Yeah. Okay, uh, let's let's start filming. I mean, I think people will like, really be able to relate to this. Just wanted to make sure all your T's were crossed. <laughs> this group's giving me clueless vibes. You know what she kind of looks like is the chick from Schitt's Creek, actually. I'm surprised the chick with the short hair didn't make anything of herself. And the Taylor chick, I don't think, was in anything else. And Gabrielle Union was... Kudos to her for always just being the side black chick. And then now she's like... Yeah, if you're willing she, to be like overtly cast aside because of your skin color, you could make a pretty penny. Yeah. She's got a choker on. You know what that means. I miss the chokers. I yeah. like the chokers. What a great... Those have to be coming back soon, just knowing what we know about fashion. Oh, yeah, and she works at, a, like, a burrito oh. place. That's kind of, I would... Uh, Banner would wear that hat. That's a Halloween... <laughs> co that's a deep-cut Halloween costume <laughs> right there. It looks like a French beret, but it's obviously an open-faced taco. It does look like a French restaurant that sell, <clears throat> sells greasy tacos. <laughs> she looks like the chick from the Jaquita Banana sticker. She is a chick, though, you look... I was like, dude, she could be... Like, she is hot. I, I mean, like, I'm offended that, like, anyone would sit in this movie and be like, oh, yeah, that's a at, tough one. At least... At least they would have, like... You know, have her have acne or fucking something. I don't know. She's like, I won't tutor you. He's like, no, I'm... What? 
Okay, Lainey Boggs. So Janie Briggs is the name in her teen movie. Janie so they, Briggs, yeah. They like basically take her name and like morph it a little bit. What the fuck are you wearing? So, the so that's where she's like, what do you want me to tutor you? He's like, I'm the fourth highest GPA in our class. I get into every Ivy League school. Yeah. I mean, don't tell my dad that because <laughs> he'll fucking be proud of me and I can't deal with that. Fucking Augie, he has just skated through Hollywood. Like from Mighty Ducks, like he just yeah. skated through. He took it for granted, I bet. He's like, these roles are always going to be coming in. Man. Honestly, his career after Mighty Ducks is better than Emilio's. It's better than fucking anyone's. It is. <laughs> like, he's like gotten like a lot of roles. But, like, I'll just say it. But he hasn't been good in anything. <laughs> no, he was absolutely awful in Daredevil. He was like, so bad. Almost unwatchable. Yeah, basically. Took you, like, completely out of a great show. So her shoes are just covered in paint. And there's just no way that someone like that can ever become prom queen. Did your school even have prom king and queen? We didn't. Yeah, yeah. And did you vote at the prom? Or was it done, like, during school and then they just didn't During know? school and... Like it was homecoming. Did you first like they would vote go to on nominate the football people? Field. Yeah, they go on the football field. We had homecoming. We didn't have a prom king and queen. We had a homecoming king and queen. I don't think we had a prom king and queen. I That's don't only thing in movies, right? Where like you you go to the dance. It was a thing. I maybe we did. I know we had a homecoming. At your school, what was a bigger deal, homecoming or prom? I mean, homecoming because everyone could go. Prom was only for juniors and seniors, so it was like prom was like. Once you, I feel like at my school prom was bigger just because it was like the end of the your senior year. Well, only for juniors and seniors unless you're asked by a junior and senior. So all the slutty yeah. freshmen were like, "Correct, oh, yeah, gonna go, just gotta give head." <laughs> Fine, know? I got asked. Uh, this poor fucking guy's like, I literally just, I just need to place it. my goddamn yeah. order, and there's a Taco Bell, and it's insane that I'm having to wait. Supersize my balls. <laughs> We have to get that hat. I'm I'm wondering. They don't make high school movies anymore. I haven't seen They really them. don't. I mean, Mean Girls came out as a remake, you know? Yeah, I, I don't know why they don't. I would, I would be scared if they did. Like, 22 Jump Street, or 21 Jump Street is the last one. It's, it's like, that dangerous, it's unnatural, and yeah, it needs it's to be like, put to a stop. Look at... They're supposed to find a drug dealer, but all he's concerned with is how I, different high school is. I love, I love the fashion. Hey, do you want a V-neck or a collared shirt? Why not both? <laughs> I, why make I, me choose? I, I, Yes. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I want both. Someone at Ralph Lauren is like, you guys are going to rue the day you made fun of this fucking idea. Back then, it was it was Ralph, it was Tommy Hilfiger. Mm-hmm. And Ab- Calvin, right? Cal- Abercrombie wasn't even really in yet. Was Calvin Klein just cologne and underwear, or did they do? I never really wore Calvin Klein. It was more Ralph Lauren, Tommy Hilfiger. FUBU was a lot. Yeah, was FUBU big. was nice. This is some performative art. Is he here because she's like in the play? <laughs> I don't really know. <laughs> okay, this is the... I'm, I'm offended now. Strictly offended. Yeah, this is hurtful. <laughs> He's like, what the fuck am I watching here? Do you get it? You either like it or you don't get it. Everyone, I guarantee you, 99% of the people there are too scared to be you know, like, is this fucking awful? Yeah, or... there's a critic in the front row who's like, I, I'm just going to have to say that I liked it. I don't yeah. know. Honestly, the things we do to get laid. Desperate things the sheet budget for this play out of control i was always into the artsy chicks but they're never as crazy as you think you're kind of like let down you're like oh you're more normal than i was hoping for that's not fun also i love how in all these movies like the artsy chick like has her performance but she does it literal performative art but wants it to always be a secret like how'd you yeah. know i was yeah. in that play <laughs> isn't that kind of the fucking point is like people go see it <laughs> you're a performer you weren't supposed to know about it's that like don't worry freddie all these guys are gay even the midgets well yeah. most of them we're just friends i dated one of them but we're just friends now it's not even weird he sleeps in my bed too but it's totally <laughs> tonic have you seen that meme? Or it's a, it's like a girl. She goes, I just prefer to hang out with guys because there's less drama. And it's a chick with like 46 hot dogs yeah. in her mouth. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, I'll clap, but it's not a standing O type performance. Now she's going to like make him come on stage. Yeah, this happens all the time. 
This happens when you uh, really want to bang a chick that goes to church a lot. It's like, oh, hey, um, I told you they'd come and let you sing. I'm like, well, shit, I oh. just kind of wanted to come. Because remember you told me that like as a lie to get in my pants? Yeah. I do, yeah, I vaguely remember saying that. But you know what? I'm a baritone, and this feels like more of an alto. Yeah, group. right, yeah. I don't, I don't want to fuck up what you guys have going on. Plus the optics in this church. It's not like the, the church. The acoustics in here are dog yeah. shit, if I'm being honest. It's not like the church I go to. Why does she have a bunch of Doritos bags? <laughs> So what's he supposed to do here? He's supposed to do art or a speech. Oh, or... okay. Cool. Look at those Adidas shoes. I'm a fit. I'm like a fan of the bag. Now we have really short shorts and baggy shirts. Like that's cool. But I like baggy pants. Always been a fan. He's gonna hack this sacky. Sack this hacky. Oh my god. What happened to hacky sack? Do stoners still do it? <sighs> Comment below. I want to know because I that, had a stoner in my seventh and eighth grade. I'd be like, "Can you guys fucking move? Dude, I'm trying to walk to history." The problem is the stoner group now is probably the smallest social group. Really? At least at my school, yeah. Huh. Jocks have doubled in size. Stoners have really taken a hit. <laughs> <laughs> like I feel bad. I had a kid in one of my classes, a stoner. We That's what the president should run on. Yeah, for <laughs> real. I will double the stoner size. Uh, the uh, stoners used to be 50 now and it's very 12%, sad 12% it's shrinking every year numbers show no the kid that it's I was very, a stoner very very with... small and you should be embarrassed by yourself <laughs> he would love to talk to me about music because he's like yeah dude none of my fucking friends like, wow. are stoners anymore I was like that's because when we went to high school even the athletes were kind of like stoner like all of yeah, them every, well like, everyone like respected the stoners right yes. like, even if you weren't one of them you're like you guys are because they're just fucking chill dude I was never a good hacker a hacky Sam, hacker awful at it there was some though that you could tell like that's like all they did in the room just smoke pot hacky do you think Freddie Prince is actually doing this? Because that camera shot, I think, had his face in it. No, he's not. See, his dad wouldn't accept this. All his dad cares so about is Basically, he's saying future. how much pressure he feels on everything. And it's like, he, he can't let the hack... The hack is his life. Yeah. Did it's you get it? It's really dumb, though, because... Don't worry about pressure, bro. You've accomplished what they were asking you to do. You've what? got to do an Ivy League school. Like, it's fine. You fucking did it. Your dad would probably stop pressuring you if you told him, like, yeah, I did the thing you wanted me to do. Like, of course he's still pressuring you, but he doesn't know you got into fucking Dartmouth yeah. and Yale. And now, like, he let her in. That's called a metaphor? They weren't ready for that. But yeah, Freddie Prince Jr. is a creative writer for WWE. That's awesome. Which is just really fucking weird <laughs> of everything that he, because some of these people are like, you know, the wrestlers and stuff. He's like, I was as big a star as you in like 19, oh, or yeah. 96, 98. <clears throat> I hope the wrestlers know who he is. Like, I hope they're like, yeah, Freddie Prince Jr., man. That, I remember you from the sure 90s. Yeah. Summer Catch, I Will Always Down the Sword. That's a good fucking movie. Oh, yeah. Like a good baseball movie. Imagine paying to go to this play, though, and you're like, all right, it's time to leave. Why is this kid's going to fucking hacky sack for 20 minutes? I guarantee you 90% of the people there is like, <laughs> if I don't clap or stay till the end, I'm going to lose my fucking, like, card. Yeah, like, you, have, so, yeah. you have to have season pass to go Even to this. Even I think most of this stuff is nonsense. Like, I... I'm, the I'm one, that bald and out of shape. There's not many clicks, though. And the me. second I cancel my season tickets, there's going to be a show that I'm yes. going to regret missing. So are they in like Santa Monica I or Beverly Hills? I don't feel like they're eh, they're pretty rich, I guess, but they're not like as rich as the clueless people. This is what I love is that he his parents are obviously rich, and her dad's a pool cleaner. So it's like, I guess they go to a a poo cleaner. You mean a poo cleaner? Yeah, his yeah. car said poo. So I guess they go to a public school because it it would be in the zip code. He's like, oh wait. wait. Do you always wear those glasses? Yeah, I need them to fucking see. Well, what if you didn't? What if you just bumped into see. stuff? Right, see. <laughs> okay. what, what if you bumped? No, what if you see. bumped into stuff, but you were nicer for me to yeah, look at? Yeah, what if you're really hot and you just couldn't see? Have you thought about how selfish it is that you need to always see where you're walking? Her bag looks like a giant hacky sack. She didn't even... Wow. That's the shirt that she wore to the taco place, right? No, maybe it's different. Her whole outfit, though, is, like, pretty... Or her whole fashion is pretty... You'll cool. learn, young bro for squad listeners, that 
No matter how hot the chick, they're all difficult to deal with. It really doesn't matter. So I totally get this. He's like, we can have sex, but I need to be looking at myself. But yeah, I need on to be TV. watching the real world. You want me? To, how am I supposed to get erect if I'm not looking at myself on reality TV in the background? So he he's cool too because he has his own place, right? Oh well, yeah, he's on the fucking real world, and he's like way older. So she's a high school chick, and he's like probably twenty eight. Or something. Just That's better all you had to break. say. 28's the magic number. And all she wants to do is have sex. This never happens, by the way. Maybe when you're younger and the chick always wants to have sex, but then you're never like, God, all she wants to do is have sex. It's like really annoying. It's enough. Like, can we talk? <laughs> I'm trying to watch TV. I'm trying to... He's like a quarterback. He's like, I gotta watch my game film. What if real... You know, back then... They didn't have the real world road rules challenge, but he's like, the, the phone could ring again. I know, so. like, what is road rules? What was that? Like an outdoor real world? I've never seen Yeah, I don't, I actually don't even know what the show was, but I know they would do like a reality show where they would compete against like the real world season and something. <laughs> it's like re in Jesus Christ. It's like uh, Leo in Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. Of course, he has a yellow Jeep. Is he that tall, or is Kevin Pollock this short? I think uh, Kevin Pollock's just that short. So, I mean, he's in some big movies. He's in A Few Good Men with Tom Cruise. Yeah, he's in he's, some... that's true. He's in a bunch of stuff. He's like, yeah, I'll do the teeny bopper movie. So, know. Kevin Pollock is almost like Freddie Prince Jr.'s dad in Summer Catch, where he's like a... He has like his own landscaping yeah. company, right? Uh, yeah, pretty much. And then we got this kid. He's like, well, wear earpieces. Oh, you? those overalls. She looks hot in, in those, too. No, Matt, there's paint on them. Come on. Imagine being, like, the makeup team on this movie. Like, we're going to work on her makeup for, like, an hour and a half, and then the audience is supposed to believe that she's not attractive. This is where they, like, yell at the film people. Like, you got to back up at least ten feet. We're only getting half of Freddy's sideburns in the shot. We need to be from the fucking Goodyear. Like we need, we need to be up on that fucking mountain up there. That's why we're in California, guys. When Freddie Prinze Jr. gets his hair cut, and the barber asks, "Would you like me to shorten your side burns?" He goes, "Are you fucking hot?" Like, no, don't touch. Why it. don't you just take zeros off of my paycheck for me? <laughs> Jesus Christ, that just affected the tip. If Freddie Prinze Jr. was a legit actor, and like nowadays, you could see him play Elvis. Hundred percent. He's kept his hair; it's just all gray and white now. I haven't and, seen him in a bit. Him and Sarah Michelle Gellar are still together, actually. I saw a post on oh, yeah. something. Oh, yeah. So they're one of the few couples who's made it. Because home. they got out. Yeah. Like, they got their money, and then they just kind of fucking left. I don't... Yeah, dude, she did Buffy, and then, like, a couple movies, and that was pretty much yeah, it. Yeah, that was right? pretty much it. You want to go to the beach and chills? Is we're in SoCal? Like, I guess. Sure, there's gigantic rocks and aggro crags, but it's fine. <laughs> Wearing jeans to the beach and rolling them up is, like, a move. Like, could sure. you wear something a little more revealing, though? <laughs> she dresses like an 8th grade history teacher that has no husband and three cats <laughs> at home, though. Let's give her that. Like, there's some work to be done. There but is. Fr but Freddie sees... I mean, she's in she's in rookie ball right now. Like, we got plenty yeah, of time. Yeah, she's got to get some at-bats. Freddie Prinze Jr.'s like, I'll wear a shirt, but I'm only going to button one button. You yeah. can pick which one it is, but it's only one's getting buttoned. If you went to a chick in high school, I bet it's like, listen, uh, I'm going to pay to do you up and make you cool, and you just have to have sex with me. I bet a lot of them would be like, okay, cool, whatever. Yeah, I, I mean, just out of like the four chicks that he pointed out, I bet he would have had one taker. People appreciate honesty. Is it true? Maybe you told me this on our Fast and Furious commentary. Paul Walker put mayonnaise in his hair? I, I've heard that in Fast and Furious, just to make his hair glisten. God. But the mayonnaise industry doubled its profits that year. That's a fucking shirt, too. It's like a heat map of Hawaii. I'm really surprised, like... Paul Walker, like, right now, like... He wasn't really anything until he got Fast, fast and Furious. I mean, Did it, he do Meet the Deedles already? <laughs> I don't know. Like, I mean, Farsi <laughs> Blues was big, but yeah. after that... But he, he wasn't, like, the star of that. No. That was Vanderbeek. Yeah, that was Vanderbeek. Because... Nothing came from Vanderbeek out of that. Absolutely nothing. Yeah, but a lot of people put God, a lot of She has a one piece, too. Which is hotter now. It is, yeah. The fact that it's like, those chicks are like, what are you doing? I just, I'm offended. Like, I'm not supposed to think that she's as attractive as all these other girls. 
I thought they played soccer. Like, they're on the soccer team. I love how because she's an artist, like, she can't go five fucking minutes without sketching something. Well, you're by an ocean, so... She'll have, like, withdrawals. And where are we going to play volleyball here, bro? There's no fucking space. There's not even a net set up. She's like, so these seagulls are going to sketch themselves? (laughs) No, I don't, bitch. Uh Uh-oh. Oh, Oh, God. Just let it go, Lainey. Honestly, if you want, you know, women to take your side, just put all of them in a room for a while for ten minutes. They'll turn on each other. They're like pit bulls. They're like beta fish. <laughs> Just put them all in a pond together. Cool. So you're you hate each other now? Yeah. Okay. Cool. Got so it. you're don't especially hate if they think the other one's hotter than them. Absolutely. This is awesome. It's like, well, we got to have a sand volleyball scene with everyone. Showing. Yeah, I mean, it's, you you can tell me first, second, or third act, but it's gonna be in there. Why does the black guy have to like the black girl? And who's these guys? Yeah, what, r- randos? That's out. Touch the net, doesn't count. See, so the, the uh, soundtrack, obviously here, right? Movies in the 90s, that used to be like a part of their release, was the soundtrack. Oh, like, yeah. A- I don't know what song this one. Is it Kiss, Kiss, Kiss Me, Beyond the Band? When yeah. she cut, co- um... Yeah, when she comes down the stairs for prom. Yeah, right. right. Yeah, okay, yeah. So you're going to Preston tonight for that party? They ask her if she's going. Of course, she's never even heard of the party. I wonder if any of these girls, because none of them were seen in Hollywood again, besides Gabrielle. I wonder if any of these girls came out on Weinstein. Let me Google that real quick. Yeah, anytime you see his name attached to a movie, now you have to wonder. Especially a movie like this with really young girls. Imagine, Imagine the ones that he interviewed that didn't get the part. Oh, yeah. Is Preston Paul Walker? Yeah, he is. Wow, he's throwing a party. Fuck, that's a big deal. What do you do the Weinstein list? Do you want... Roachua... Yeah, I'll take another one. Who's that one? Is that the uh, chick who said you run like a girl? Yeah. Or, uh... He said it was... And she's all that. Maybe she's a side thing. But he said he'd never had a Chinese girl or something. Jesus Christ. Well, sorry I have a preference. <laughs> My God. He, like, actually said that in yeah, a book? I guess. And in the 90s, they're like, well, you're Harvey Weinstein, of course. I'm just reading the... Dealer's choice. And his brother's executive producer, too. Bobby, right? Yeah, and I, uh, he probably did shit, too. I mean, obviously, but I didn't hear too much about him. But Harvey is, I believe, riding away in prison, where he deserves... Peanut butter by itself is fucking delicious. All you need is peanut butter and a spoon. You don't even need to fucking dip anything. But peanut butter dipped with Oreos is fucking delicious. It's like, what are you doing? Oh, nothing. I'm just putting together a puzzle drinking Diet Coke. Who the fuck ever does that in high school? Like, you have so much other shit. Like, I mean, play, was PlayStation 1 out at this time? It looks like he's doing Hall's cough drops. He must be sick. I feel so bad for Karen Culkin. His dad was probably like, okay, we're going to get you in 20 movies this year, and that's all you're going to do. He's a legit actor, though. (laughs) He fucking hired boys to help her clean. It's legit... Oh, the JV soccer team. Let's hire the JV soccer team to help you clean. So she couldn't, um, I don't care one. Uh, she couldn't uh, come out because she was cleaning. So yep. Freddie just had the JV boys soccer team come over and clean for her so she can. Oh, home. genius. Did they get service hours for that? Before you go, though, my sister's going to put some whore makeup on you. Yeah, don't worry, it'll help. Yeah. Why would his sister agree to do this? Wasn't she like morally against this in the beginning, or does she not give a but, shit? But I mean, she's trying to go to uh, cosmetology school, so it'll be a good little thing for her, I guess. 
I love how her dad is okay with these like strange fourteen year olds in his house. He's just saying like I don't give a shit, dude. And I think her mom died in a car wreck or something. It sucks. Kieran Culkin is just like, dude, this is really going to help my street cred. He's like, yeah, but you know what won't? That hearing aid that you have. you got to lose that. Yeah. What is with you trying to take away things that help fix our disabilities? Where's Kevin Pollack right now? Your 12-year-old son is just rummaging through your He's liquor. He's off the clock, Jeff. It's off the clock. Is he mixing... Like Diet Coke and whiskey. His dad's right there. He's running a business. He's trying to f- see out if he could even fucking make if it. If I don't balance these spreadsheets, we're not going to have fucking Christmas. So you drinking, <laughs> yeah. you drinking triple malt scotch is the least of my worries right now. Plus, if she gets impregnated from a rich family, that solves all my fucking problems. Exactly. That's our meal ticket right there. It's like the fun mom in um, <laughs> Girls. Please tell me there's a scene in this where, like, someone actually takes off her glasses and it literally looks like Jesus rises. From yeah, the, I, there is like, a holy scene where it's fuck, like, that's from your face. It's like the Clark Kent in any Superman movie. Like, how do you act like you can't see someone's face with fucking glasses on? So, this is her coming out party at Paul Walker's party here in a little bit. He's gonna, like, introduce her at press. He finally knows, he's like, who are these people and why are they cleaning my house? Well, that, the kid who cleaned the mirror there, or the window, there's a streak on it. So he was fine with it when they were doing Chrysler a good job. That Chrysler van. That was just like, get in, we're going to McDonald's for my mom. Is Kieran Culkin trying to fuck Freddie Prince? <laughs> you never know, dude. <laughs> it's like, yeah, awesome. I think this is the... This kiss is the kiss me. Me. Beneath Beneath the milky twilight. twilight. Sixpence, none the richer. That's the big. Pre- pretty good. Uh, pretty good song. Oh yeah, this suede jacket's doing a lot of heavy lifting. God damn. Because you need suede jackets in Southern California a lot. You know that. Here it is, like in parentheses, "Kiss Me, Plague." Carpeted so- stairs, great for sneaking out of the house in high school. Yeah, this is the scene. I mean, yeah, like, <laughs> like honestly, like a, I think she's hotter with the glasses. I know. I, 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 uh, yeah, she's got a nice body. Like, I mean, that, not surprising. Right. At we all. just saw her on the beach. Like, who's surprised by this? This taught girls a very valuable lesson. If you just put some makeup on and dress really skanky, you'll get a, a little bit of attention. Look, we, we don't need much at this age. It's just a slight, a slightly jog out your ground ball to short, and you'll probably get be safe. That's your sister, bro. Drive safely, even though I just spiked your drink. And yeah. the dad is, I don't know where So you're driving my bar. sister to the party? Well, you should probably be liquored up then. What? You want me to kill her? I'm guessing she's never drank before. His folks are in Vegas, so I had a huge party. Is this his house or the Bellagio? <sighs> Both. There's no coat check? What the this, fuck, Preston? This is what I don't get. So, they're in the same school together, but it, it's not a private school, so it's a public school. Yeah. But they're like a rich kids with the poor kids. Yeah, there's like a weird thing going on where it's like everyone at this school has the means to go to private school, yeah. but they're like, fuck that. Although, Freddie Prince Jr.'s sister, I think, does go to private school. Either that or she's one of those kids that just wears a uniform to public school, ironically. It's like, yeah, a couple people came over and then a bunch of, I don't know, 28-year-olds. You come here together, what, well, I brought her here if that's what you mean. Are you wasted? You got your shit together, man. Was this Paul Walker's first dick role? Because usually he plays, like, a really good yeah. guy. Which suits him better, I think. He's good in this, though. He's oh, still... God. Oh, my God. He's dressed like someone from fucking Back to the Future 2. God, so good. He's got the pin, just in case people want fucking... Yeah, a costume fire. designer is, like, doing too much here. Over the shoulder with the fucking silk shirt. Come on. <laughs> oh, cliches. 
It's hard to believe Oakleys were ever cool because I think they're the ugliest looking sunglasses I've ever seen. Wow, you think there's trouble in paradise? God, it's so good. How much coke is being done at this party? Enough. Some weed, probably some mock, what's, mock oxy, moxy, Mo- Molly, probably. I mean, these girls need to stay skinny, so that's. Coke oh yeah, the there's there. there's the chick. Did they drug her or something? I can't remember. Oh, that's a good question. I remember so, there's some darkness in this movie. Is she actually Lainey's friend? God. Because it seemed like they were kind of being dicks to her in art class. She was being a dick to her. That's what she called her, like a nickname kind of thing. <laughs> We've She's all been there. Praying to God through the porcelain telephone. Now she really looks like pink. With all the throw up on her. <laughs> What a diss to pink. <laughs> well, I didn't see it until you had vomit and crust yeah. in your mouth. And now I can see it. How does it feel to be cool? Yeah, how does what feel? Also, forgive me, but there's fucking oatmeal on your jacket. Yeah. So I can't really think you see it. Also, did someone punch her in the mouth? Like, what, What's going on with her lip? Back in the late 90s, they made it seem like if you ever achieve your goals, you're a piece of shit. You sold out. <laughs> so all these chicks are rich. Does she though. die? Yeah, that's fine. What? It's, it's a movie from the 90s. Did movie. she OD on something? So she said, how's it feel a rich girl like me gets uh, our scholarship and you get nothing? So now she's probably going to fuck with her. Brock, that's a name you don't hear much anymore. You. <laughs> What's his name? Zach Seiler? That's a pretty good name. That's a pretty It's not name. Landon Carter level, but Zach Seiler's pretty solid. So, uh, look, I'm not going to call the cops, but Matthew Lillard's <laughs> character, is it statutory rape, what he's doing? Uh, I mean, probably. It's a gray area. Now he has to do the dance, like, in the real world and shit. It's awesome, like, in 98, like, they're like, oh, dude, Lillard's in this movie? Thank God, he'll bring the fucking energy. Right. He doesn't give a shit, bro. Lillard was just so wild on set. Fucking Scooby-Doo. And in Scream, he's over, like, way over the top, yeah. too. <laughs> Do you think he looks back on this and he's like, oh, God damn it. Made a lot of money. <laughs> He is, I don't think he really cares, but he is one that's like, okay, some actor's like, now I'm typecasted. Yeah. Like, I'm the, this is all I'm going to be. Was he good without a paddle? Actually, that was one of his better roles, I feel like. But they're all kind of playing it straight. They toned him down a little bit? Yeah. If you're an agent, though, like, you got to be like, dude, just ride the wave. And when it fucking hits shore, then we'll figure it out. We all, we all know that guy, though. It's like... The party's never ended for him. Right. <laughs> kind of like, all right. You go back home and they're still doing it. Yeah, now it's pathetic, though. Yeah, now it's, like, a little pathetic, but... Oh, so she is alive. All right. I would have lost money on that bet. I think she, like, drew shit on her face or something. Like Worst that. part is a lot of people had to use that restroom. I'm sure they have 18 more in this fucking house. Yeah. It's a 26-bed, 18-bath. Did you ever go to a house party in high school at a really nice house? <laughs> I don't think so. We weren't lucky enough to have someone who like, had a huge house and their parents were frequently out of town. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Did her and Janie wear the, or Lainey wear the same fucking dress? I think so. No. Oh. Wow, that's kind of sexual, the noise she was making. Now it's like more hot. First off, I can't see the stain right here. Second off, if everyone yeah. saw that, like, why would she be embarrassed? Like, yeah, she just obviously threw a drink on you. Like, I don't really feel bad for her. For her. Oh, God.
Well, I'm sorry she knows what vapor is. Waste of a perfectly good yearbook space. Like, that. that's what? something that, like, two years is like, who the fuck cares? Scorched earth. <laughs> God. Like, huh? You shouldn't even be the yearbook. Like, That's what? a two by four that we won't get back. In color, by now the way. Now I'm gonna cry. We all had that girlfriend that you couldn't go to the party 20 minutes without her crying, and you're like, I was like, it's like, okay. You like, just left me. Like, I didn't even get to get a drink. Gravel parking lot? That's a little cheap for a house like this, isn't it? There was uh, step, square steps on there, so you gotta stay on those. Oh, thank God. She oh, didn't. And that's why she's not popular. That's the difference. <laughs> Hot the chicks would never Popular do that. girl combine, it's how can you move in heels? She's pissed, like, now would probably be a bad time to say that I'm getting paid to take you out, huh? Not letting them see you cry isn't really effective when you run out after someone dunks on you. It's this like, is, honestly, I feel, a good movie. Now, it's ridiculous, but it actually is a good movie. We got this movie credit. It's only funny because so many movies have copied it after the fact, right? Like, this was the one of the first ones. But the parts it, like, takes serious is, like, not so serious that you can't joke about it. But then this part is, like, actually kind of decent mm-hmm. acting. The premise is actually more ridiculous than the movie, if that makes sense. Freddy's actually... I mean, he's... I, I mean, like, for... Solid. For an 80s breakfast club type movie, he's like a decent <laughs> actor. Where, you know, a girl is on her period and just deep in the sheets in her bed and she's watching it she's like god freddy's so fucking good yeah and he gets me he's like in touch with his emotional side (sighs) it'd be easy you see weinstein just sweating behind the camera he's like yes freddy just say it all right just say cut so that i can talk to the actresses i bet it was really the extras that he was like it's gonna happen first freddy's fucking gonna wreck the scene or i'm gonna come in this plant potted plant right now it's minus 250 that i come (laughs) in the plant first on bavada Look at all these plants that Weinstein probably came in in this. A couple of these uh, convertibles are double parked. That's a problem. Do trees like that grow in Cal- Southern California? Maybe yeah, can North. you tell the difference between this high school and Stanford University? God, the overalls. Which actually for him makes sense because you never know when he needs to get in that bag. I gotta of eat my Kit Kat, but I can't put my Cheetos down. So, so I'm supposed to walk <laughs> and with the bag of Cheetos in my hand. Look where at this my dude brief, behind him. Where does my briefcase go? What the hell? I... Like he's like fucking 35. Like what are we doing? He has a briefcase because Matt a backpack is like so cliche. Okay, this is another good question. Did you ever go to a party that you learned about from a flyer? No. <laughs> Because, like, why don't you just... I know. Why don't you just doesn't... knock on a cop's window I see the door? It's like, hey, there's a big high school underage drinking party address, at 7. And here's the address. And here's the address, too. Can we get Usher Don't out show of... up right at 7, because all the cool kids show up at 9. Right. Like, show up at, like, 9.30 and bust it. Can we get Usher out of this, like, the locked room where he just makes the announcements in? He's, like, up in the fucking tower. Dude, that's a legit job. wonder how much that pays. You get summers off, obviously. I'm Maybe sure, yeah. DJ and Maybe you go up summer. there and, like, for the 12 kids in summer school, yes. you make announcements. <laughs> Just like a couple All right, fucking maybe, losers. Yeah. I guess it's lunch. <laughs> I can't believe they bleached his hair for this. So, uh, she got broke up with by Matthew. What? <laughs> wow, I thought they had the legs to go the distance. She's like, yeah, that really sucks. I actually have to go cheer for the Tennessee Titans <laughs> in five minutes, but you can tell the story to me later. See, I, I've always had this question growing up in a small town. So breakups hurt in high school because, to me, sometimes you'd feel like you're in love, whatever. But you're like, dude, there's no one else. I know. <laughs> but when you're in a big Metroplex, do you really fucking care? You're like, okay, just yeah. get on plenty of fish or whatever you kids do. The other thing, you, know, you in get I, the you get the emails built up. All the chicks that hit on you, you just send yeah. dick pics, and whoever emails a, back a first, you email go, blast. Yeah, yeah you you go to an axe throwing bar. The problem here too, I don't think this is a big deal for Matthew Lillard because he's not at the school. But like, if you break up with a girl, like her friends are off limits for at least a little while. Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah, they are on the soccer team here, guys. This field is horribly kept up. This is before turf fields, I guess. This is a practice field, though. Nice try. Boom. What a rip. Oh. You know why you miss Freddy? 
Uh, I haven't gotten laid in a while. Fuck, right. I'm not focused because of my relationship. Yeah, I'm too worried about this girl. I'm fi- look Get at your head in the game, man. They're so he- depressed. They're like, dude, we're never going to fucking win state. He Listen, missed the Zach, goal in practice. Zach Siler, you better fucking lock in. Because if we lose this quarterfinal soccer game, I'll never forgive you. Dude, is this the biggest Paul Walker's been? Like, he's got way more muscle than I've ever yeah, seen. Yeah, he's jacked right now. He's, like, pretty jacked in this fucking movie. I mean, this, take consideration, this is before, like, everyone did steroids. I mean, not every. I mean, obviously, Schwarzenegger. It wasn't like a requirement. But I mean, every superhero movie where it's like, hey, you got to do the HGH, and they basically get paid by Men's Health to be like, yeah, I just eat a lot of chicken, broccoli, and you know, some rice is all I do really. That's all. Yeah. Hit the gym for twenty minutes. And then shoot steroids up. (laughs) Wait, what was the last part? Now he's saying he's like, maybe I'll take her when you're done with her, Zach. He's sick of me. He's like, Damn. you're not the coolest dude in this place. I am. I'm fucking Paul Walker. Newsflash, Walter Cronkite. <laughs> God, that's so good. <laughs> Who the fuck's Walter Cronkite? Walker's jacked in this. Like, I know, he's real. huge. Wait, like, honestly, I don't think they want soccer players to be that big. Who are these, like, campaign the teams? Oppressed. Did you see what that club was? No. What? The Oppressed Prisoners Club. Honestly, <laughs> I... So I never understood this in high school. So I don't. So ridiculous. I think I got voted maybe once to be in like a king's court out of like five people. Yeah. But I never understood. It was like, why don't all you like, you know, band just all, just if just everyone get agreed, one person. Exactly. You would fucking win the whole thing. If everyone agreed to just vote for one, would collude. Yes, you would do it. It's not that hard, and especially like a counter. Uh, Culture vote, like, okay, fuck the popular person, a laney yeah. f- situation. Because most, in high school, everyone, the jealous, if you're not at the top and the ten friends at the top, everyone else either hates you or jealous right. of you most of the time. But popularity is obviously based on multiple people thinking you're cool. If yeah. you just talk to people like, oh, this is dead mom. Dude. Did you draw that? No, it's actually just a picture. Not another teen movie. <laughs> Do you remember this scene? Yeah, like a, you have her eyes. It's a stick, it's a stick figure, figure, yeah. <laughs> Have her eyes. She died in a car wreck. Like, okay. Well, no, in, but in another teen movie, he's like, she went out to drive that night and it was raining. He goes, oh my God, car accident? He goes, no, cancer no, five years later. Cancer five years later. Oh. It's just slippery that night. This just kind of made me scared. She has a very, uh, like, Navajo Indian inspired wardrobe. Yes. I, uh,. You know, she kind of looks like Daphne Keene, who played Act 23. She looks exactly... Yeah, we just came out of Deadpool Wolverine, so yeah, she does kind of look just like her. So how long ago did her mom die, or was she like a baby when it happened? She said she remembers the funeral, so probably middle school, elementary school. It's like, then my dad just started drinking and cleaning pools. No, he did that before, but... Yeah, but now he started doing them at the same time. Right, yeah. He's like, also, I need to talk to your brother because I think he drugged me. I'm not 100% sure. It's like, so I shut people out. Who cares? Like, you got to let me in. We got to win prom. <laughs> like, you understand and this? And this bet. What? This is bigger than your dead mother, Laney. J- Janie. Yeah, whatever your fucking name is. Your mom's dead. No amount of complaining is going to bring her back. But winning prom maybe could. So, yeah, if we, don't, if we don't know yeah. unless we try. Unless we win it. So let's focus on the game ahead. This is the greatest part ever. My mom died. The biggest part of my life. The the bearer of our family died. He's like, I know what you mean. My dad wants me to go to Dartmouth. I got in. But I hid the admission letter. He wants me to have his life. Have a smoking hot wife, a fucking eight-story house, make two billion a year. And it's certainly not a competition. Like, what? (laughs) What? You know, I want to do my own thing. Also, can you ask your dad if he can make the Thursday pool cleaning appointment (laughs) at four o'clock instead of six this week? (laughs) <laughs> yeah. Pick a college, Zach. Pick a future. God damn it! And why is he so anal about the dogs being locked up? Our dogs are not dangerous. I no, know it's part of his They're policy. fine. They play bite. I don't know what he's so worried about. He, he can go to NYU. But he doesn't want that, Matt. Re- remember the plans of your high school girlfriend? Like, what if we went to college together? I was just like, listen. That is an option. Or what I'm, if? I'm going to fuck the first eight chicks I oh see. God, yeah. I mean, <laughs> so was, my dorm, I don't know if you know this. Our dorms are co-ed yeah. at my school. So no, not a good idea. 
Maybe we could work long distance. Yeah, maybe. Maybe it could. Yeah, I'm pretty good at writing maybe. letters. Yeah. yeah. It could maybe work. What really, you, like, if it was, if it was, like, future you advising, you'd be like, or, you know what we could do? Maybe we just fuck on Christmas break. Yeah. And that's pretty much it. <laughs> and... <laughs> And then the last day, you kind of we do this song yeah. and dance again, like maybe and this we always work, pretend and, like we'll make it work long yeah. distance. But yeah, okay, no, that sounds better. That was another routine movie too. He's just like you'll you'll probably you know come in, you'll surprise me in my dorm room and catch me with a chick. You'll call me a slut. I'll call you a cock tease, and we'll just end. So why are we even doing this? Like, like, oh wow, wow, that's really self aware. Why don't we just start at the finish? <laughs> Zach Seiler. Like, are you gonna kiss me? Has he asked her to prom yet? Sprinkler thing? Yeah, that's important. I think he's thinking now, he's like, wow, I'm actually falling for this girl. Which, oh, wow, you can fall for the girl, have sex, and make money from a bet. So What? And now he's visualizing he's on the real world. Which the real world is probably like, shit, we get Freddie Prince Jr. with our logo on it? Let's Hell yeah. Out. That's a screenshot that will live in infamy. And then Matthew Lillard's there with like two Miller High Lifes on the couch. Like, well, that's why he's making, that's why he's making bad decisions. I wonder how many people in the studio audience at this time were like, wait, is this actually on the real world? This is what happens when people stop being fake and start being real, guys. The only thing cooler than a puka shell necklace is a puka shell necklace with a shark tooth on the bottom. I actually think in 13 states it's illegal to wear that because it's considered too powerful of an aphrodisiac. And then the kinkos in this town working overtime here between the headshots that we need to get in these fucking mugs printed out. But they know when it's basically prom season, that's their biggest time of the year. So Matthew Lillard's character in the real world had a poo thank you a puka shell necklace with a shark tooth on the bottom of it. <laughs> I said in 13 states that's illegal because it's too powerful. I actually that. caught the shark myself and pulled his tooth. Now I don't believe in killing any living thing, but in this case. So now we do an eight mile. Watermelon strawberry. That's interesting. I do love watching these old... Oh, did your school have just two African... The only two African-American kids, of course, doing a <laughs> rap battle in the commons? No, uh, the one African-American kid uh, that joined our school were like, oh, thank God, and we had him play sports with us, and he's the most unathletic. God, isn't like, that the it's worst? It's like Stanley. Like, you gotta be kidding me! Man. He's Stanley, obviously. What do you mean? After his first year with us, he went and played tall. trumpet and band. Fuck. It's not where we need you. Yeah. <laughs> this is... This is not what every fucking movie has told me at all, and I'm very disappointed. Eldon Henson, he's like, look, we need to get this over with real quick, because I'm actually interning for Poison Ivy. That's why my entire aesthetic today is four screen. Remember how big the long sleeve button-ups were without any buttons, and then the white shirt underneath? Yeah, undershirts, it, it, here's the thing. The hard part about building a wardrobe in the late 90s was not only did you need a shirt, but you needed a whole set of undershirts. A lot of undershirts, and then... Collared long button up shirts that you don't button at all. Yeah. Khaki really cargo pants. <laughs> Fucking cat on, I think he food. was on roller skates too. Sure what the fuck? But I remember having like polos that would be like an Abercrombie polo that would be like a certain color. And then I would have like a, a colored undershirt to like complement it. Yeah, you're right. He is on skates. This is fucking Sonic. Sarah Whoa. Michelle Gellar! I didn't nice. know she was in this. Me either. God, she's hot. Is this just like a gratuitous cameo she's on set for a day freddy's like dude i need a bj you gotta come in. yeah you gotta come here would you mind jumping in the i love room? the bullies okay it's got no that's the that's Terminator. The Terminator. Yeah. Fuck. and his pants talk about parachute pants i love God. the bullies are always like dude you can't beat these guys up like for seriously real. well not him Matt. He has a tattoo and a gun on his shirt and a bandana He's like, come on, look at naked chicks. Like, oh, wow, that, what a terrible bully. I'm saying, the stuff that people would be able to masturbate to in the late 90s, that's just, just fucking gross, dude. Don't did he just that. put pubic hair on his pizza? Yeah, he did. This is a pretty R-rated PG-13 movie. Yeah, they is this rated R? In the I just said fuck in the locker room, but it's locker room talks so you can get away with a little bit different there. Look at Taylor Vaughn for prom queen shirt. It's like a, like a Ronda Rousey UFC fight prelim poster. <laughs> 
Kill all artists. Why? Is that what it says? Yes. Why would that shirt ever? Yeah, you're allowed to wear that at school for sure. Like what? <laughs> Was this pre Columbine? Uh. It must have been like right when it happened. It doesn't right? matter. We're in California. Like I mean, Texas, maybe. Jesus Christ. It's fine. We're just he just he's just exercising his right as American. Is he gonna make him eat the pizza? Yeah. Wow, Sherman. I'm the Shermanator, though. Yeah, there's a lot of grease on that too. You might want to dab that off. You're gonna break out. So whose was that? That was his. And how did he? How did he see him put the pube on it? Uh, Freddie Prince was. Over, he sees all. He's the guy a student a, body fucking I president. Can always, Jeff. I can always. Tell Not, on his, yeah. Not on his Ew, watch. Not on his. Ew, dude. dude. <laughs> <laughs> did he rip out half of his? Jesus pubic Christ! Hair? My God, he like killed a when, fucking weasel. When did Ew. shaving start? I shave. Probably two thousand and eight. I mean, the only 5 o'clock shadow I have is on my pubic hair when I'm just too lazy to fucking... Yeah, 100%. Dude, I... Like, this that's, movie... That's fucking graphic. This is, wor- this is worse than the scene in Matilda where she makes the kid eat the cake that she sweated into. At least eating your own pubes isn't bad as eating someone else's. Like, if I had a choice. Yeah, that's true. Are these guys students here or just, like, traveling bullies, basically? Uh, I think they're um, Usher's entourage, so they just kind of work here, but no one really knows their job. <laughs> but this is his off period. There's no announcements during lunch. That one strand of blue hair, very Rufio-esque. God, dude, what a... Now, in California, the way to get out of this is, fuck the pews, like, actually, I'm vegan. Like, oh my god, no, then take the pizza. So he's cool with this kid, even though he drugged him? Well, he didn't drug him. He just gave him an alcoholic drink and it was shit because he didn't know how to make oh, okay. drinks. Also, he wasn't very heavy-handed with the liquor because he had to make it in front of his dad. Taylor Vaughn, you know I'm attracted to her because I like the bitchy chicks. For sure. I've always been into it. Um, so Lainey doesn't really do it for me that much. you got to be bitchy and just awful. For They're me both to... bitchy but in very different ways. Lainey's just bitchy. I mean, her mom died, so she has a reason to be jaded. That's true. But doesn't her art help her cope with that? It could be worse. You could get accepted to Dartmouth and your dad wants you to go there. God, could you imagine? I need this hat that she has. It's I'm like, sure Banner has it in his closet somewhere. Yeah. It's like, why don't you say so? I would have brought the it. The taco hat? I could have brought it down. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's clean, obviously. I use it all the time. What's his pin stand for? Is that some cause that, like, she cares about? I, I think they have, like, vote for whoever pins. Like, they're also doing an election, which my high school never did. No, we didn't give a fuck. Like, there was a sheet of paper, and like, hey, vote for king or queen or whatever, and that was it. We had a... <clears throat> did you have a, like, Sadie Hawkins dance? Is that where the girls ask the guys? Yeah, ours was called Morp. It's prom spelled backwards. Really creative. I honestly, I'm. It's really sad that sometimes when you ask an older person in high school something they can't remember, I'm like, oh, I'll, I'll always remember high school. I do yeah. not fucking remember at all. I think Actually. we. Had, I think we had four dances. We had I, home. We had like a winter formal. We had a homecoming. We had morp, which is more like a silly one. There was always like a theme, like you were like costumes. Win, winter was my favorite. Homecoming was more kind of casual. Winter was when the girls really got short skirts. But homecoming had to be and around the time very... of winter formal, right? Because I always think it's like towards the end of football season. So it'd be like November. No, homecoming was like September for us usually. Oh, September, that early? October. Yeah, and then the winter Holy formal shit. was like okay. December. And then homecoming, we'd usually do a back to school thing. Was your winter formal like basically like the weekend before winter break? Yeah. That's sick. And would you have yours? This is another thing in movies. Would you have yours after? Okay. <laughs> It's like, what he the is fuck. He is the guy from Animal House. Imagine getting in trouble because you got accepted into five Ivy think... League schools. This is I don't want your life. Always about to throw that back in your face. What about your choices, Dad? Wait, that's what you throw in your. What about your choices, Dad? Having a successful career. Uh, Going on business trips. So I can have a fucking Making cool money? Room. God damn it. 
Do you not see how selfish it is to give me everything? <laughs> what? That doesn't sound... This is such a 90s thing. Like, the dad never being there is like, yeah, I gotta support you and your fucking mother's fake tits and Botox. What do you but then if me? the dad's home all the time, he's like, fuck, can you leave us alone yeah. and make more money? So we can go on nice vacation. And honestly, he he's the villain. But then watching it later, it's like no, he actually makes a lot of sense. Like, dude, what are you, what are you gonna do? Not yeah. Do I mean, is he like, dad? This of, is a great opportunity. Is he dad of the year? No, but you have a full ride to five different. Not there. Ideas, Every fucking so. scene he's at home, he's there. It's not like he's again. It's okay. Usher filmed all his shit in one day. He was just absolutely. Why is he even in the movie? Because he's Usher. You're right. That's a stupid fucking question. They got him cheap, too. Because he, I mean, he was on TRL, which is huge. But he was, like, number eight. I mean, this was before, yeah, I don't know. We have paparazzi here. This is Gangs of New York. Like, what the fuck are we doing in the hallway? Lady Briggs. It is funny in these movies, and you pointed this out a few times, but just glance at the extras in any given scene, and there's always one person who is 44 years old. Oh, yeah. Like, they didn't have enough people that day, and they were like, hey, production assistant, can you just stand back there? (laughs) Nice. Zach's stupid. Did you have to do prom work day? Yeah, but I was in student council, cycling and I were. So, I had to do it, and I don't know, I was really tired, so I just locked myself in a closet, watched Looney Tunes for a while, and took a nap. Genius. Now that I think about it, though, our school actually had a cool setup where I think the juniors set up prom, because if you were a senior, they would just actually want to yeah, enjoy it. Yeah, that's what we did. So the juniors always set up prom. Yeah, you're right. So, so I only did it my junior year. Junior year, I didn't go to prom because I had a recruiting trip, and my girlfriend totally, was really pissed. And uh, I remember all the girls like, we have to set it up well, or the class before us won't set ours up well. And I'm just like, you need to fucking chill. First off, how will they even know? They're like the next They're not even going to come! Right, <laughs> Except the slutty chicks that got invited by other guys. And those ones probably won't be in charge of setting it up anyway. Are his jeans like folded up at the bottom? Wow, he really fucking swooped in. He hasn't asked her yet. I like this girl. What's her name? That's not a fair question. That's not a fair question. The whole bet thing. Like, oh god. See, what a dude, you can fucking roll over on your boy, man. This is dirty. The second that shit hits the fan. (sighs) This is dirty. (laughs) What's the line in the breakup where John Favreau brings the girl over to game night and Jen Francis goes, What's her name? And And he's just like, ah. (laughs) And Jen Francis goes, Her name is Jasmine or whatever. (laughs) Okay, yep. this is rated. This is rated this R. This has got to be rated R. I didn't know that. But is it worth it for two f bombs and a pubic hair pizza scene? I don't know. I don't know if they get the most out of it. Wow, this is rated R. Damn, that's weird. Because to me, this is like the quintessential PG thirteen date night film, right? Like you wouldn't even be able to go see this on a Friday night. Well, this was for <laughs> high school kids. How though? They can't get into it. They can. I mean, most of 17. them can. And well, seventeen. And when you're in high school, when I'm, when I'm seventeen, though, I'm not going to fucking movies on a Friday night, right? That's like 14, 15, 16 year olds. I went to movies in high school. I mean, maybe I because I was from a small bit. town, but like, I mean, how many movies? Even in middle school, how many movies do you go to where your mom just bought you a ticket because it's like it, it's parental consent. Your parents can have you sign it. Um, Brent Barry and I have a pretty crazy story about we. Uh, wanted so badly to see Jackass but nobody no, our parents wouldn't buy us tickets it was and that was a movie that I needed to see so he doesn't have a date at all or is he going with uh, his ex-girlfriend I don't think he I can't remember yet let's watch wow he jumped yeah, shit you fucking really? know, you, you got no Culkins on Are your you side you're done after all I've done for you bro the pube <laughs> dad's got like a water fucking pump in the house Never like, not working. I don't really give a shit. Like, How just, often is he using this telescope? Like, are we fucking serious right all here? All the time. In fact, I might use it right now. Fuck prom. There's no better place to stew on your emotions than in a basement. Quintessential dad scene. Hasn't been in the whole fucking movie. <laughs> Hasn't given her one now. piece of advice for ten years. <laughs> He's like, Jesus Christ, I better go talk to her. Uh, I remember my prom. Do you, Dad? Before your mother died of cancer. What if you just said, I forgot this was down here. Uh, 
Yeah. St- All right. Well, Stevenson's Villas can use this pool for their thing. I'll yeah, also like poker night tonight, so if you wouldn't mind staying down here, you know how weird it gets with Tom because he made an inappropriate comment to you last time. Anytime these scenes happen... He's harmless, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, he was drunk, too. So he, will he be drunk tonight? Yeah, he will be, so that might happen again. Anytime they have these scenes, they always anchor them in the other core emotional moment, like... Back when I was in high school, this is before your mom died yeah. of cancer. Yeah, I figured, that. why do you have to reference everything with that one event? It's before the cancer thing. Randy Quaid in this, uh, for not another teen movie, is just like, if, if, if he's just gonna date you to get in your pants, and I, just I say, say go out do it. <laughs> All right, pumpkin tits, you can, and like rubs her You can use the popularity points. So let's be honest. Like, let's just think of what is he says something about like painting the front porch too? Right? And he said maybe maybe if you know people at school really like you, those kids will stop throwing shit on the yeah, front porch. Yeah, leaving <laughs> flaming bags of shit on the front porch. See, here's the thing. Unlike a lot of the other scary movies, not another teen movie is actually pretty well written. It it, it was I mean one of my first DVDs I bought yeah. when I got my first PlayStation 2. I like mean, it's it not all fantastic. fart jokes and shit. And actually the guy who plays Ted in How I Met Your Mother is Guys, the I made a grave we got, mistake. We got a, we got a Ryan Banner joining us. I made a Ryan. grave mistake. What's the grave mistake? Midsummer is a fucked up movie. Yeah, it's So is this. Not Did you like, know Lainey's mother's dead? From Since can- when? From cancer, yeah. And now she still has to go to prom with oh Paul Walker. God. Oh my god! Can you imagine having at least to go to prom with Paul, Paul Walker? A jacked up Paul Walker. I've never seen like ripped. he's fucking ripped. In really? This. Can't play beach volleyball. But not, with a, the but shit, not even but ripped. Like he's like big. He's like, too muscular. big. Like yeah, he's too big. How like how late are you cleaning a pool? It's nine p.m. and he still has his work outfit on. Dude, we have a lot of pretty. I mean, it's summer. Actors. He's working OT, man. Is it summer? What's her first name? Haddon Paquin or whoever's in this. Anna Paquin. Anna Paquin. Yeah. Yeah. Got Rogue, like, good luck out there. Thank you. We'll join you when we're done. Whew, man. Who's <laughs> Paul Walker? Holy shit, he cleans up nice. Dude, I... Is prom a... This might be a dumb question, because I don't remember. Is it a tux situation? Oh, yeah. That's okay. dressed to the fucking nines. Right. That's, that's girls getting, like, a couple thousand dollar dress. Yeah, that's right. And their hair did. Now, just because I love Paul Walker and I would believe anything he said and let him get in my pants, is he being legitimate here, or is this still just a play to get at Freddie Prince Jr., Zach Seiler? He's not being legitimate. He doesn't really like her. Uh, he's trying to have sex with her, I think, but that's prom. Okay, so she's in high school. He's going with his sister? I guess. All right. And she's wearing a Victorian wedding dress. Easiest way to get laid. Just take your mom or your sister. Right. You're good. Oh, but we have to be quick because I have to film Bridgerton season three after prom. So let's make it fast. And he stands up, Taylor. What? That's so unlike him. Which, in a sick fucking way, makes her want him even more. Of course, yeah. God, I'm not a priority for you. Just like every other man I've ever had in my life. Did people actually dance at your prom? Yeah. I think they danced at mine, yeah. too. The after prom was fun, too. They'd have, like, bounce houses and shit like that. Um, yeah, so our... Oh, my God. This is so 90s. It comes out on a fucking Kinko's printer. There's always that guy. It's like, what? I'm a, like the funny dude. Like, I'm going to bring a fucking Bro, love doll. if you had, like, a handle of... Okay, these are 36. That's <laughs> 38. <laughs> That's Quentin Richardson. Not really, but looks a lot like him. <laughs> Little Kim's in this, too. I Really? Have we seen her? Uh, oh, I think she was the other black friend with um, at the beach. Really? The volleyball, yeah. I have to go back. I wasn't even paying attention. That was the chick that Tupac banged and then did who like who shot you or whatever song right from big and she's in like the barbershop i mean obviously i know who little kim is but i'm just like that's how she kind of got her start was she one of the first lils she probably was yeah because that became a fucking thing paul walker can dance better than that why does glitter turn me on it's so trashy see this is where this is where he shines yep your high school of course had a choreographed dance that everyone knew right of course yeah Yeah. stupid question even Lainey Briggs, who never goes to parties at all. Like Doesn't attend a single social event. She's like, well, yeah, I get the emails. Dude, look at that dude. Yeah, what, what, there was got to be a name for that hairstyle. That was I like can't a, remember what it was. That it was, was like a popular thing. It's like a sea into, urchin, basically. Snap into a Slim Jim hairstyle. Didn't Travis Barker have that briefly? Yeah, he, he had did. Hair? Yeah. I, I don't know how you would do that. It would take a while and a lot of L.A. looks, but it's worth it. 
It actually wouldn't take that much LA looks. LA looks, <laughs> dude. LA looks literally. That's Lil Kim. If, if you sure didn't shower, it. LA looks would last for three days. Absolutely. Yeah. I'm not even fucking kidding. Like you, your hair, head is bulletproof if you put that shit in. So Usher had to do two scenes. Yeah. In this movie. Imagine a DJ that dances while he plays the music. That's pretty fucking cool. If this movie was remade, that would be Pauly D. Garen fucking T. <laughs> And they'd probably get it for cheaper than Usher. 100%. That they paid Usher in 98. Can, <laughs> like, dude, just, can Polly D dance? He's not like... Like, Usher is like a dancer. Beat up the beat? Or, well, no. No one can dance. I mean, <clears throat> Usher like is that, a yeah. fucking... All right, guys. Show them how you can do it. Like all these white guys. All right, I need a bunch of people that kind of look like Matt LeBlanc. And we're going to need you to dance. Yep. Uh, basically, like a Beach Boys song is playing. The funny thing is, like... Just knowing how movies are made a little bit from seeing like a bunch of making of documentaries, there's no music probably playing on set today, and they just added it yeah. later, like whatever matches. Dude, that one chick with the fucking turtleneck, like what do you Aubrey? Wine scenes breathing heavy. It's like uh, Taylor, uh, look yep. your uh, look your thing and uh, throw it down your Harvey, page. you're just a producer. You're not really supposed to weigh in on why are you breathing. So why, are you, why are you so sweaty? It's like it's, uh, it's, it, we're in Southern California. It's seventy four degrees. Yeah, the prom just stops dead when this happens. It's like, are we in Greece all of a sudden? And I've never seen ever in my life, and I've been to a lot of dance type situations, of people like, okay, everyone just get out of the way because we're going to do a choreo. I was like, dude, we're like here to dance. I don't know who you are, but like, yeah, and like, and like, would you respect that if they asked you to? Like, I'm kind of good. I'm like, you have enough room. Yeah, right? I, I'm like, we're just, and if you don't have enough room, then that's a you problem. You got a sitter. We're on a date night. Like, of course, he's just eating. Like, whose prom has a spread like this? No one's prom has food, right? We eat dinner and then go to prom. Maybe there's, like, chips or something, but... There's, this, like, appetizers, but, yeah, the, fucking, prom, like, the prom dinner was always a big deal. Like, we go to, like, a really... Yeah, you, place, it's yeah. like a place... Like, we talked about this last That's night, right, I think. yeah. Like, a place you could never normally afford. Did you have school. after prom? Yeah. Okay, after and prom if, would have, like, <clears throat> pizza. <laughs> like, so Domino's. They like, wanted us to go to after prom so no one would drink and drive and die. And if you went to after prom, you actually got... Because our prom was, I think, two weeks before school got out. You actually got excused from school on Monday. Okay. Which After was the prom, incentive yeah, it would last till like one or two in the morning. Yeah. yeah, ours was at like basically like a Dave and Buster's. They rented it out for the school. Yeah. And then the art teacher just randomly. Yeah, this there. is a good time to <laughs> approach me about my art. By the way, that worksheet that was due Tuesday is due Monday now. Just want to let you know. But this is my prom. I yeah, just want to let you I'm know. I'm fucking hammered right so now. So don't fucking don't right. come to me and say you didn't know. Do with that information what you want. But I told you. Also, why are you dressed like Miss Cleo? <laughs> was your prom? What's in the cards? <laughs> was your prom at your school? No. No. Ours wasn't either. No. But some movies, they have it like in the gym. Maybe that's like an older thing, like that's, Back to the Future. That's definitely a Back to the Future thing. No, we had it <clears throat> like a different thing. Yeah, because now he's just like... Uh-oh, room 409? No one has it. But gone. honestly, like this, if he really digs her... Is that Greg like... Anthony Light to the left there? <laughs> Did you see that? Yes! That's bagged cereal Greg Anthony. He's just like, are there any hookers here I can buy and get fucking kicked out of my job? No? All right, I'm going to go to the next bathroom. <laughs> So how's he even going to approach Lainey with the motel? God, that actor is just like, I made it. <laughs> I got to tell Paul. How many times do you think he practiced that in the mirror? Like, well, well if I'm him, I'm, I'm telling the director, like, so I'm supposed to tell Paul Walker that he's probably not going to get laid. I just don't think that's a realistic thing for my character to do. So trying to understand Paul Walker's character. He's a dick to Freddie Prince Jr., who actually probably... I mean, he started a bet, then he fell in love with the girl. You can either believe he fell in love with her or not. Now the guy that is his friend is, like, pissed off or whatever. But if he actually genuinely likes her and is going to get her late at the prom, that's not... Everyone wants to get late at prom. For sure. You can't even judge him for that. I guess I'm confused. What was the falling out between Paul Walker and Freddie Prince Jr.? Like, where was Paul Walker like, not only am I pulling the rug on the bet, but now I'm going to try and cut you off and get... Like what? Bumped. What pissed him off? Like what? Was it the locker room? Was that it? No, it was basically the whole his whole life. He was like second fiddle to Freddie Prince Jr. And he's like, I'm fucking sick of but it. But it seemed like he really called him out when he missed that shot in practice. Which let's be honest, that's a gimme. You got to tap that in. I mean, I mean, I totally understand. I actually think he underreacted. I mean, I make that shot ten out of ten times. Ten out of ten times. I blindfolded, eyes closed. 
I always feel bad for the prom for the cake. adults that have to be at these proms. Like I would rather be doing fucking anything else. Well, no surprise here, Zach. Like, yeah, we, don't your, we don't need your commentary, <laughs> Jesus Christ. I voted for him. I know that. CNN you Fox voted. News, we don't need your little like you narrative voted. here. Yeah, yeah. like. <laughs> You voted. That's actually in a happened. landslide victory. Wait, what the fuck? Why you? Voting it was that? rigged. <laughs> he <Stolen>. voted. <laughs> Get the fuck out of here. What is he hand? Oh, God damn it! This is so hilarious. <laughs> Closest vote in the schools. How would you fucking? <laughs> Who <laughs> tracks <laughs> that? <laughs> Who <laughs> tracks <laughs> that? <laughs> Elias Sports Bureau has told us is it is this the closest. MLB baseball yeah, before for... Negro leagues. Like we just track everything here. Ken Rosenthal says it was the closest vote in history. Taylor Vaughn. I would demand a recount if it's that close. Stop the count. Stop the count. <laughs> What's the line with all these black lights? What's the line Star Lord has? He's like, if you were in a black light in this ship, look like a Jackson yeah, Pollock it's... painting. Like there's semen on the ceiling. I don't get it. It's crazy the two lead females in this have really like not done anything after this. They're both very that. attractive. They're both good in this. Yeah, I can talk right now. I'm yeah, just, I'm just stage. prom king. What's up, nerd Bobby. that I've never spoken a word to? Zach, look, I got to Zach, when this... I was taking a shit after I ate 800 <laughs> 18 shrimp, shrimp cocktails. <laughs> like, I heard something really important. <laughs> I got to get back. I could have told you 20 <laughs> minutes ago, but I had to wipe. <laughs> <laughs> was that important? Don't wipe. You know, this suit is rented. They'll make me pay for it. You know how cocktail sauce stain. goes right through me. They'll, yeah, I do know that. They'll make me pay for it if I have shit stains on it. How do you know that? Because it happened last year in junior year. I'm not proud of this. We're yeah. getting off subject. It doesn't matter. Get laid. It's neither here nor there. I shouldn't have gotten white and I knew it, but it was a calculated risk. Another thing, too, and I hope movies never change this, but, like, why, would you ever let some drunk 18-year-old give a speech on prom night? No! Here you go, man. Just take the mic. Say whatever the fuck you want to the whole student body. You did the right thing. <laughs> like, <turn it> off. <laughs> Is that what he did? He's like, sure, we're going to He has a hotel key. He's going to try to have sex. He's like, yeah. He's like, I got three. We all are trying to do that. He's like, sorry, I'm really fat. What do you think this and is all about? about? He's in 409. Okay, I just want to make sure he won't hear me because I'm in 412. And I think there's a couple of Jason. What do you think this is all about? Celebrating us graduating from high school? No, it's to get fucking It's late. about the academic accomplishments that we've achieved the last four years. What is he, he even know? They're literally the acting issue. like it's a matter of national security yes. right yes. here. <laughs> Call the Pentagon. What are they gonna do? Laney Boggs is going to a room for a <laughs> Call her dad. He's so shit faced, there's not gonna know. Are you kidding? Else. It's poker night, bro. He's three sheets to the wind. If he tried to drive, it would be like in Wolf of Wall Street when Leo tries to get to the fucking country club. <laughs> If this kid really wanted to ignore his dad, he'd take his hearing aid out. What's his hat? San Francisco Giants? Uh, I think it's um, Freddie Prince Jr.'s uh, Cape Cod League oh, baseball okay. team from Summer Catch. He's like, it's a Negro League team. No, it's not. What time do you think it is right now? Wow. He's like, maybe you guys should go upstairs with the door shut. And, and talk it out. Cloud. Yeah, I'll put on the stereo. Yeah. And if some lube were to find its way <laughs> into your bedroom, wouldn't be maybe the worst thing that ever happened. In the backyard. Or, you know, whatever. <laughs> I see now. Just have sex wherever. Randy you know? Quaid's character was very well inspired <laughs> yeah, was. from him. So I guess he went and told him everything. <clears throat> This kid is such a front runner, though. It's like one minute you're his worst enemy, the next minute he's fucking. You think her mom is in that urn? <laughs> Dude, that's dark. <laughs> but <laughs> Just yes, saw it in the back. Probably. It doesn't look like a decorative vase. I like to think of him as we're eating over, like, <laughs> what, meet the parents. <laughs> he's eating dinner with us at all times. So, obviously, I want to keep you here as the cancer ate away your organs like an unstoppable rebel force. Yeah, okay, that's great. <laughs> to follow unstoppable rebel force. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Like, just like, God like, is that what the doctor said? That's incredibly descriptive. You should, write, Rebel Force. you should write fiction. He's like, your dad mentioned the backyard. What is that, a breast pump? 
Is that a Bob rape whistle? Horn? I guess. Harvey gave it to me. She's like, I mean, I had sex with him. I, no, yeah, I figured, yeah. I mean, we didn't get make it to the hotel, but in the car we did. Harvey. <laughs> so, I, God, I can't remember. I think it shows her how she got home because Paul Walker tried to take her to the hotel. Did he make an unwanted advance or did she just kind of figure out what was happening? She's like, drop me off here. I can't remember. <clears throat> you missed your prom? Not only was he at the whole thing, he literally got crowned prom Yeah, he king. got prom... <laughs> he didn't miss shit. <laughs> I mean, I stayed till the prom king thing. I made a speech and then I... And there was a little bit of an after king. party, too. Yeah. We did some shots. But, you know, I made a big sacrifice to be Fuck here. Fuck Taylor. But now I'm here because I'm like you. I fucked her ironically, though, because I'm not going to call her for at least a day. She's his best friend? I was like, I don't know it. I, I think that speaks more to you needed to make some more meaningful relationships in high school because I don't feel that close to you, if I'm being honest. What's Paul Walker's character's name again? I don't want to look it up. I'm going to look it up. His name is Zach Dale, I think. Right? Is it as cool of a 90s name? No, it's like Dale something. Dean Sampson. Dean, yeah, Dean cool. Sampson. But Matthew Lillard is Brock Hudson. That's pretty cool. That is pretty cool. Brock, Dean, and L what's his? I already forgot. And Zach. That's pretty fucking. Cool. Honestly, so we just left Deadpool Wolverine. Like, they should have done. Like, if they really want to do, like, a throwback type thing, they should have had, like, Seal or someone, like, make a song just for that movie. Yeah. Like, so someone needs to, like, do that. Yeah. So you want to dance? I guess. But prom's over, Zach. Not for us. Is her brother doing this? Or her dad? Because they both want them to fuck. What is it? Is like, what is it? Any other dad would be like, dude, my wife died. I gotta be I gotta say, on. there's like a fine line between like, that's cute, you're helping me, and like, can you I feel like me? Julia Roberts is a pretty woman, because you're a hooker. Never mind that my pants are off. They're always off this time of night. How does his dad, like, he's like, yeah, I, I like the, I usually get drunk at the pool. I've actually almost drowned in it a few times by myself. And I'm a great swimmer, so it shows you how drunk I was. So we never figured out, this is a huge plot hole, does she have contacts or is she literally just like looking at, he looks like a fucking... She hasn't been able to see this whole time. <laughs> she could have fucked Paul Walker and not even known who he was. Finally! Thank God. The sequel's a porno. The sequel's basically wild things in the pool. As, as is tradition. Her dad's looking through I the thought, window, I, breathing heavily on the glass. I thought uh, Paul Walker fucked Taylor, I think. Or maybe that was just not another teen movie. Actually. That definitely happens in not another teen yeah, movie. Yeah, but I can't remember if they <clears throat> took it from here. Or they, I guess not. Because of I think we can college. safely assume, yeah. So is Usher a student at the school? Or is he just like literally a hired DJ slash MC for their announcements? He just, yeah, he just works at the school. So he lost the bet. She didn't win prom queen. So now he has to be naked, I think. For graduation. And what would happen if he won the bet? I think the other guy had to be naked. Okay. Imagine smoking at your graduation. Imagine just being naked at your graduation and everyone's like, yeah, that's fine. He lost totally the bet. Cool. Well, yeah, it makes sense. Forget the fact that it's a felony. I think that's a little That's, that's a little, little Kim? Kim? Yeah. Wow. She got a whole new nose. Why is he deaf? Chasen Sawyer? Fuck, that's a good name, too. Sky Sebastian. Dude, in outside, your balls would be stuck to that seat. Eh, SoCal. It's probably like 75 degrees. This is insane. <laughs> He's a sex offender. He passes over the ball. It's like, oh my god, I can't believe it. It's like, this is allowed. And I, yeah, Zach! Way to go! We just laugh naked. it off the fact that he's hanging brain it's at a fine. public school. Who cares, dude? What? Why is her dad in back there just clapping like just like that's yes. my boy? He, he fucked my daughter. When he loses a bet, he honors it. He fucked my daughter. I got her. On, I got it on tape. That's him. Yep. I'm gonna put. I'm filming this on my Panasonic. She's camera. all that. That was she's all that. Matt, final thoughts. 1999. So I feel like this was. This right. is PG-13. It says it right there. That's wow. unfucking believable So nowadays you only get one fuck on a PG-13. They used at three. least two. Yeah. No nudity, but two fucks. I'll say I liked it. Uh, very Breakfast Clubby, but 90s version. I think it's a good film. 
It has everything. It has tongue in cheek. It has some serious shit. It has some stuff you can make fun of. Good stuff. Yeah, and it's clearly at the time it was at least well regarded in the industry because you can see the influences of this movie yes. on so many other movies. It was to, like the Pretty in Pink Breakfast Club of the '90s. Yeah, kind of thing. that's a good analogy. This like set up a template for like how to build caricatures. And when you look back on it, I mean, some just really good performers. I, I'm surprised that some of them didn't have bigger careers, especially the two female leads. But she's all that. I'm. I don't think it's overstating it to call it uh, pretty much a staple or a classic of the late, late '90s. Paul Walker, get off the roids, bro. <clears throat> Yeah, what was his next role after this? Because he he was he's always been in shape, obviously not an ounce of fat. Fast and Furious, two thousand one. He wasn't that big. N- not even with all those tuna melts. Yeah, no. Eating. No one likes tuna here. <laughs> I do. All right, for our enforcer and the paint Matt Geiger, I'm the mayor Jeff Hornacek. We are the Bro Four Squad podcast. You can follow us on X, uh, Threads, Instagram at Bro Four Squad. We're on YouTube, Spotify, Apple Music. Uh, anywhere you can find audio podcasts, Bro Force Squad. Three words. Check out everything we've ever done on our website, BroForceSquad.com. Till next time, Matt and I have to strip naked and go graduate from high school.